pretties, we are going to take a peek at the Pretty Actions Pastel Dreams collection. This collection is full of pretty pastels, hazes, and rich sun-infused tones, and so much more. We are super excited to show you what's in this collection. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the bottom right-hand corner here. Um, starting off the collection, we have our Light Doctors, which of course corrects the exposure. You can add hazy light, cut the haze, or even correct the lighting in your backlit images. We all know how hard that is, and now it's included in an action that only takes one click of your mouse to play. It's that simple, guys. Okay, so let's keep on scrolling. Next, we have our Color Doctors that will not only correct color casts, but you can also play with your color by adding warmth or a cool tone. You can play up the colors or play them down as well. And what would a collection be without the mini retouch set? So of course we have you covered there as well. Our Sun Fusions are one-click, all-in-one actions that add different, rich, sun-drenched tones to your images. And next are the pretty pastels. Now notice that these have a play all button, so I can click on that, press play, and all of these all-in-one looks will play in our actions panel, and you'll be able to click on the little eye next to each action to turn them on and off and mix and match. Basically, it's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, so next we have our black and white actions and our polishers, which add the perfect finishing touch to your image. And of course, there's a lot of choices to choose from. We have our pretty brushes, so you can easily make those selective adjustments on your image. Now we also have our fave combos. Guys, this is brand new. We have not included this in a collection before this one. So we definitely wanted to talk about it and play this up just a little bit here. Now each of these combos is carefully curated. Uh, from this collection. Basically, it's a carefully picked selection of actions within the collection combined to make different combinations. So this is exactly like having an additional eight beautiful actions to play with and apply to your images and create different looks. So a lot of fun there. Next we have our Sunray applicator. I'll show you how to use that a little bit later on as well. And of course we have our workflow action. So I'm just gonna scroll up back towards the top of the collection here. And of course what you've all been waiting for, we're going to go through some before and afters and even show you how to edit a few images as well because this collection is just that much fun to use, guys. Okay, so let's take a look at this image straight out of camera, and then after we've used just a few actions from our Pastel Dreams collection, this literally took less than a minute, you guys. Four actions, one click each, and the best part is we were able to create our own custom look with this collection. Okay, so let's move on to image number two. I know you guys are dying to dig into this collection. We're actually going to use a combo for the first image, and then we'll start to pick individual actions for the rest of our edits. So let's see how this works. We're going to use combo number one and press play. And bam, look at that. It's already chosen, sun up, cut the haze, a dash of cool, color riche, and I've got some others in there. And I'm gonna click on sun up down here at the bottom. Notice I can still turn the actions off and on if I want, and even click on that action and adjust the opacity. I'm just gonna bring sun up to 100% so we can really brighten the image quite a bit there. See how that brings the look of the entire enhancement up a level? So that's very simple to do, and I just love that they're all so customizable. Okay, who's ready for another before and after? Because I know I am. Um, this is straight out of camera, and then after a one-click combo action and one simple adjustment, we were able to get this gorgeous finished look. All right, let's take a look at image number three, guys. We're going to do another quick before, straight out of camera, and after, bam. 
Look at this, five different actions. Super simple to create this gorgeous, creamy, finished look. Okay, so I have one more before and after to show you guys before we start editing our last two images together. So this is before using the Pastel Dreams collection straight out of camera. We were able to add that extra boost and enhancement to beautifully finish off this image. Okay, so I'm super excited to show you exactly how this collection works and how simple it is to use. So let's edit this image from start to finish. Let's just scroll up here to our pretty pastels all in one actions. We're going to play Dreamin' of Sun. And let's go ahead and keep that right at 50%. Now if you wanna keep a, a really deep, rich, or contrasty, look and cut through the haze of some of the actions, then it's a good idea to use either all in focus at the bottom of your sun fusions, or you can also use sun up at the top of the collection here as well to keep that um, crisp contrasty look. Okay, so we're going to press play. Let's keep that at 70% and I just want a little bit of a color pop. So we're going to play color riche and bring it up a little bit to 60%. Bam, look at that guys. I seriously hope this is just as much fun to watch uh, for you guys as it is for me playing with this collection right now. So before, with a few simple clicks, we were able to get this gorgeous final enhanced image. Okay, so let's move on to our last image and this one is probably going to be the most fun to edit because I'm gonna show you how to use the Sunray brushes that come with this collection. Okay, first we're going to edit the image and I want to use Cotton Candy. Okay, so we're gonna select that from our all-in-one uh, actions. Now I am going to customize this action. That's what's so great about all of our actions in our collections. You can open it up. Now if you have Photoshop Elements, just scroll to the bottom of your collection and run open folder, okay? Now I am going to turn off bright pink, pink color and cotton candy. So kind of taking some of the pink tones out of that particular action. Next, we're going to run all in focus. Keep some of that contrast, and we're gonna keep that at 70%. I do wanna turn the vignette off that's within this action, so I'm just opening it up, scrolling to the bottom, and turning the, well, we'll keep the hazy vignette on there. Okay, so we're going to scroll up a little bit here and run cut the haze. I'm gonna press play and we're gonna bring that up to 60%. And now we're ready for our sun ray. So we're just gonna scroll down towards the bottom of our collection and click on pretty sun ray applicator and press play. And we have our handy dandy instructions. So just in case you forget how to use it after watching this video, no worries, our um, actions do come with instructions. So um, that's always a good thing to have. So notice I have this little layer. This is my Sunray layer. You wanna make sure your brush is selected and white is the foreground color and if it's not, you can just switch between the colors with this little arrow or double click and select white or any other color you want your light to be. Okay, so now I'm going to select the brush that I would like to use. I'm just gonna scroll down until I see my sunbursts and the sun rays. Okay, so I'm gonna select the top sun ray natural. Okay, I'm gonna click back on this layer here. And actually one more thing that I want to show you, notice the orientation of my light. You can kind of see the outside edges, the light is going to shine beyond that. And you'll see that once I stamp this onto the image. But if I want to change the orientation, let's say I have, let me pick a, a sun ray. So notice how it's shining straight down. If I want it to point to the left or the right or diagonal, all I have to do is take my little tool here, turn it around, Okay, and you can kind of play with all of the angles. You can keep it at the top uh, right corner here to flash in towards the left and vice versa. I'm just gonna keep that where it was at the default and grab the original burst that I had selected. 
Okay, I'm gonna find a position um, where I want the light to be, and I'm just gonna click to stamp it on to the image. Okay, now if you still want to move it around, you can either um, go to your history panel and go back and restamp it, or I can select my move tool and kind of move it um, within the image. One more cool thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, is the add-on. So we're going to select Sunray add-ons and press play. And notice how I can make the light warm, cool, or I can even make it brighter, or both. <laughs> okay, and I can even click on that and make it a little bit warmer, uh, and it just adjust the opacity to uh, to where I find it's working best with the image. And we're done, guys. I know I'm sad to be done as well, but I wanna give you guys time to dig into this collection and have just as much fun playing with it and enhancing your images as I'm having right now. So one last thing before you go, let's take a look at another before and after. This is going to be our last one straight out of camera after making all of our adjustments with the Pretty Pastel Dreams collection. I really had a blast showing you guys how much fun this collection is. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out with us here at Pretty Actions.